your statewide forecast. Welcome back, folks. You know, just before commercial break, I wanted to show you this graphic kind of highlighting what's expected for this afternoon with regards to who could see the potential for severe weather. I'm going to step out because it is a full screen graphic and show you that really the greatest area, that's the enhanced risk, the orange area that is uh, consuming most of southwest Arkansas. But you see the slight risk, the yellow area does include much of the rest of the state. And even then, we're looking at damaging winds and large hail being the primary factors with anything that can hit strong to severe status. I can't roll out a brief spin up, but that tornado threat is pretty low, but it's not zero. And of course, since we haven't had a lot of rainfall here lately, the flooding factor is also very low with this. Now, I will say before we continue on, there is a bus potential with this forecast, and that's just not me saying that to cover myself, but there is an opportunity. I've looked at some latest information here at noontime. We may not have ingredients line up just right to where severe weather could be a higher potential. Now, I do think that we are going to have thunderstorms moving into the state, but with the threat of severe weather, we may see that may not happen, but let's plan for the worst and hope for the best, shall we? All this is coming from a low pressure system. The core of it centered off to the northwest. There's the frontal boundary that's going to help spark these showers. Even though we had a round come through earlier this morning, we're already starting to see the atmosphere recharging, and you can even see some cumulus clouds starting to build up near Dallas. That's the initial point of these showers and thunderstorms beginning to develop. But as forecast track shows you, notice what happens between 12 and 6 o'clock. So the next six hours, really everything's going to stay pretty quiet here across Arkansas. It's going to warm up, though. It's going to be hot and humid this afternoon, but only maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two, and the severe weather threat's going to stay pretty low. It won't be until this evening when things start to ramp up. Notice the cluster of thunderstorms in northeast Texas. That's where it'll start, and then it eventually starts to push to east, and all of that is going to help develop more showers and thunderstorms. Notice that most of this is confined across the southern half of the state. That's where I think the greatest risk of uh, severe weather is going to take shape. Now, you notice that slight risk did include northeastern Arkansas. The reason for that is because thunderstorms may initialize right there and then work out of the state. And they could get severe before they push out and into portions of Tennessee, Kentucky, and Missouri, and that's why that's been included there. But let's focus on what's happening down south here. As these start to push in, notice that they're in clusters. So as they do so, that's where that damaging wind threat is going to be the highest risk out of all of this. And it's going to be pretty quick. By midnight, our threat is going to be out of Arkansas. Now, though, we could see and hear a few rumbles of thunder across portions of the state. Our severe weather threat will be pretty much done with this. Now, once we make it into Thursday, keeping it rain free, we've got a frontal boundary that's going to hang out. It won't be able to drive much farther to the south. And when it tries to, we're going to see it lifting quickly back off towards the northeast because we're going to have another system developing well off towards the northwest that will help lift that cold front back northeast as a warm front on the tail end. And we could see a few showers initially trying to build up on Friday morning in far northwestern Arkansas, but they'll quickly fall apart as they do so. So we're keeping rain chance only confined to the northwestern quarter of the state and keeping it dry elsewhere. But notice what's not leaving us hot and humid. By the time we make it to Friday afternoon, we could be seeing or rather feeling our first triple digit heat index values. So be ready for that. It looks like the dog days of summer will start as summer officially begins this Friday. That's a look at your forecast statewide. Let's check out what's happening a little closer to home.